Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Thursday afternoon, January the 26th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, first for race number three in their card this afternoon, 1.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three-year-old fillies race for an optional claiming purse of some $51,000. Contenders number seven, Union Victory, number five, Expression, number four, Caviar and Champagne, and number three, World Premier. Number seven, Union Victory is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field today. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt is excellent early speed abilities to complement for this inner track test. She's hit the board in power run fashion in each of her three career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her second race back. Jockey David Cohen and trainer Bruce Levine sent her to the post this afternoon. They've whacked the tote board with 57% of nearly 100 entry saddle as a team to date. Number five expression, the 4-1 to one shot as the pace profile leader in this field this afternoon comes off an excellent seven-length power run win to break her respective maiden in her last start, which was just the second race of her young career to date. Race 3 summary, number 7, Union Victory, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number 5, Expression, number 4, Caviar and Champagne, and number 2, World Premier, 7542, and the third from Aqueduct. Let's go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park next for race 9 on the card, 4.33 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half for a long route test on the turf. Three-year-old fillies race for an optional claiming prize of some $53,500. Contenders number 5, Sandy Key Gal. Number 9, Holiday Broad. Number 1, St. Pancras. And number 4, Al Musafa. Number five, Sandy Key Gal, a four to one shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field today, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her last three starts, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number nine, Holiday Broad, a six to one shot, has hit the board in four of her last five with her last three efforts including a pair of wins, also qualifying as power runs. Race 9 summary, number 5, Sandy Key Gal. Tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 9, Holiday Broad, number 1, St. Pancras, and number 4, Al Musafa, 5914 in the ninth from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Penn National Race Course, race 4, number 10, Whisper to the South. 6-1 to one on the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by three Trackmaster units as the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Turfway Park, race four, the 12-1 to one bomb, number 11, Dream Victory, takes a four-level class drop as the speed leader in this claiming field, racing at tonight's distance of a mile on Turfway Park's cushioned dirt track. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.